2024 Paris Olympic Games are finally here. There are 32 sports competing in this year's games. One of the most exciting and oldest sports in the Olympics is weightlifting. Now, the first thing that may come to mind when you think of weightlifting is strength. And while yes, it is a test of strength, it's also a test of coordination, flexibility, speed, and pure athletic power. <laughs> oh, now he's just showing. My name is Marcos. I'm an Olympic style weightlifter and I love this sport. I'm gonna be breaking down the 10 different weight classes, five male and five female, that will be competing in this year's Olympic games. Now I'll be breaking it down into five videos each video is gonna go into one male and one female weight class. In this video, we'll be going over the two weight classes that are gonna be kicking off the weightlifting events on August 7th, the 61 kilo male category and the 49 kilo female category. Now, really quickly, if you're not familiar with the sport of weightlifting, it's a test of two different disciplines or two different lifts, the snatch and the clean and jerk. In the snatch, you hoist the barbell from the ground up to overhead in one continuous movement. It's a fast, precise, and single movement. In the second discipline, the clean and jerk, you first hoist the barbell onto your shoulders and then you lift it on overhead. Instead of one continuous movement like the snatch, it takes two steps to complete the clean and jerk. You're usually more powerful and you're able to lift more kilos in this discipline. Speaking of kilos, the weight on the bar is measured in kilograms. If you're an American like myself, you'll find yourself having to convert a lot from kilos to pounds, but that's how the sport is universally measured throughout the world. Now you take the most amount of kilos you're able to lift in each discipline, the snatch and the clean and jerk, and you add them together and you get a total. The top three totals are the ones that go on podiums and get medals. I've heard weightlifting described as ballet with the barbell, and I think that's very accurate. Now, starting us off, the first weightlifting event is gonna be the 61 kilogram male category. It's the lightest category on the male side. It has been dominated by the number one ranked Chinese lifter, Li Fa Bin. He currently holds the world record in the snatch discipline, lifting 146 kilograms in Phuket, Thailand, back in the World Cup in April of this year. He also has the world record in the total at 318 kilograms. Save money save money for gold. I think the real battle will be between the silver and bronze medals, but you never know. If Lee Fa Bin messes up, there's going to be other lifters ready to pounce on the gold medal. Now, one of the other stars in this category is Eko Yuli Irwan, lifter from Indonesia. He is the most veteran out of this group. He is coming in with four Olympic medals, two bronze and two silver. He is going for a historic fifth Olympic medal, which will make him one of the most decorated weightlifters in the sport. And his numbers do hold up with the other lifters. Now, unfortunately, we don't have a great idea of how in shape Echo is in. As you can see, the last previous competitions, he hasn't registered a total in the last three. By the way, you can see those 321 totals he hit. That was at a higher weight class, so do keep that in mind. Now, I think a great advantage that Echo Yuli has is he has past Olympic Games experience, whereas the other lifters that we're about to cover that will be battling for bronze and silver, they don't have that previous Olympic Games experience. And when the lights are on, the crowd is full of people, and the Olympic rings are in the backdrop, it's a whole different game. Now, in my opinion, I think Echo is going to be conservative. I think he's going to go for attempts he knows he can hit, and I think he's going to be a shoe in for the bronze medal. Now, the third athlete with the highest registered total of 310 kilograms is the Italian lifter Sergio Masida. Masida is my pick for the silver medal in this category. If we take a look here at Masida's graph, the last time Masida hasn't registered a total was back in 2022 in the Junior Worlds. He's been pretty consistent so far. In the most recent competition before the Olympics, the Phuket Thailand World Cup, Masida was able to lift 145 kilograms in the snatch and 172 kilograms in the clean and jerk. That's a 317 kilogram total. That's just one kilo below the world record in the weight class. Now, he did do it at a heavier weight class. However, I think the consistency that Masida has shown and the numbers he was able to lift in the previous competition are really gonna go far. Now, the last lifter we'll be looking at in this category is my personal favorite. One of the rising stars of USA weightlifting, 
Hampton Morris. Honestly, Hampton is a very strong contender that can easily take a medal. Now, Hampton is a phenomenal clean and jerker. He broke the world record in the clean and jerk back in Phuket during the World Cup in April, and he is currently the number two ranked lifter in the world. Shout out to Hampton, by the way. He is the first American to break a world record since 1969. I suspect he'll further his world record in these Olympics. However, the thing that's holding him back is his snatch. Currently, Hampton's best snatch in competition is 127 kilograms. Will his massive clean and jerk be able to make up the deficit in his snatch? Maybe. However, I do think if either Echo Yuli or Masida are able to put a strong enough snatch and a decent clean and jerk, I think they will be able to, to take a higher total. At the end of the day, the Olympic medals are determined by your total. So no matter how strong your snatch or your clean and jerk are, if both of them aren't up to par, you aren't going to be on the podium. I hope Hampton proves me wrong though and he takes a home medal for the USA. So in recap, I'm predicting that China's Li Fa Bin will take home the gold medal. Italy's Sergio Masida will be taking home the silver medal. Indonesia's Eko Yuli Erwan will be taking home the bronze medal. Now shifting on over to the second weightlifting event of that August 7th, it's going to be the women's 49 kilogram category. This is the lightest category on the female side. And just like on the male side, the overwhelming favorite of this category is going to be China's Hu Jihui. The former world and Olympic champion, she holds the world record in the snatch discipline at 97 kilograms set in the Phuket Thailand World Cup a couple months back. Now if we take a look at the rankings of this category. She is 17 kilos clear of the number two ranked lifter in the world. 17 kilos. To put that into perspective, only three kilos separate the number two ranked lifter of the world from the number sixth ranked lifter and again unless she has a horrible competition i suspect she'll be taking home the gold medal in this category the lifter with the second highest registered total of 205 kilos is romania's mihaila kambe although she is going into this competition ranked fifth she has been the most consistent lifter besides hu shi hui in the most recent competition, the Thailand World Cup, Mihaila hit a total of 201 kilograms, weighing just 2 kilos over the 49 kilogram body weight limit. Besides Hu Jihui, that is the largest total out of this group, and she's a young lifter, she's only getting better. Now, the battle for bronze is going to be very interesting in this category. There are currently four lifters with a registered entry total of 200 kilograms. The USA is Jordan Dela Cruz. Mirabai Saikham from India, Venezuela's Katerin Echandia, and Thailand's Surochana Kambao. Personally, my pick is going to be the USA's Jordan Dela Cruz. I think she'll be lifting conservatively, but I think she can hit those numbers that will secure the bronze medal. And especially after not registering total in Tokyo in the last Olympics, I think she's really going to be looking to secure a solid total. Thailand's Kambao is a former world champion, but this is her first Olympic Games. India's Mirabai is a silver medalist from the Tokyo Olympics and she's going into her third Olympic Games, though she did not compete in two out of the last three competitions leading up to the Olympics. It is hard to judge her ability going in. So in recap, I think for this category, China's Hu Jihui will secure the gold medal. For the silver medal, I think that's going to go to Romania's lifter Mihaila Kambe. And for the bronze medal, I'm going to go with USA's lifter Jordan De La Cruz. All right, y'all, so that about wraps it up for this video. This is video number one of five that I'll be releasing to cover all the weight classes in this year's Olympic Games. Leave a comment down below what your predictions are for the weight classes I covered and for the upcoming weight classes. And please subscribe for the upcoming videos on the other weight classes. 